So this question looks like it's going to be a translate word problem question, just given the length of the question itself. So let's read this and write down. I see a lot of quantitative, I see a lot of numbers in this question, so it's probably going to be a lot to write down. So it says, Alan drives an average of 100 miles each week. So I'm going to write down 100 miles per week. His car can travel an average of 25 miles per gallon. So 25 miles per gallon. Alan would like to reduce his weekly expenditure on gasoline by $5. Okay, so that's a little bit different wording, right? So instead of just statements of fact, we're saying, you know, whatever he's spending now, he wants to spend $5 less. So I'm going to just put a star next to that. Assuming gasoline costs $4 per gallon, right? So another kind of just statement of fact, $4 per gallon. Which equation can Alan use to determine how many fewer miles, how many fewer average miles, M, right? So M equals fewer, right? So just lower miles. He should drive each week. Okay, so to me, the question really hinges on this information, and this information, right? There's some M value that allows this to happen, okay? Now, we could use plug in our own number for this because I do see a variable M in the answer choices and obviously we have the M variable in the question. But um, because this is so specific, right, I need to, I'd probably need to try quite a few M values before I found the actual the actual thing there. And I just want to know, see if there's another way to get to the answer. So looking at the answer choices, I do see that, you know, each choice pretty much looks the same, except for the fraction, right, that's being multiplied by M, and then the answer, right, our answers are either 95 or 5. So again, I think this is where knowing this becomes valuable because it's like, well, what, what are we using this equation for? What's the purpose of this equation? The purpose of this equation is to help us determine the M value that allows us to save $5. So I see fives for choice B and D. I think that's what we want to have there, right? I think we were going to say, hey, if I put an M value in here and multiply by either 25 fourths or 4 25ths, I'm going to get out this $5 savings that I want. So because of that, I'm going to say C and A are crossed out. So the next thing is, well, if I'm going to save this $5, right, if that's what the 5 represents, then how do I get there? Am I multiplying my M miles? So here's where I'd probably use units, right, because I want 5 to be dollars. So let's just write this out. I want this to be 5 dollars. I know that M unit is miles. And now what I'm looking at is 4 over 25. Or, you know, the question is, should it be instead 25 over 4? But what are the units on these numbers? So from the question, I see that, well, 4 is just dollars per gallon. So the dollars per gallon or dollars per gallon. And then the 25 right here is miles per gallon. So this could be miles per gallon or miles per gallon. So now when I look at things with units in mind and knowing that I want my answer to have uh, dollars associated, it looks like uh, 4 over 25 will be better, right? Because I have the dollars in the numerator, which is where I want it, instead of being in the denominator, where I don't want it. And it looks like my miles would cross out here, right? Whereas down here, I'd actually end up with miles to the second power, which I definitely do not want. So because of that, I'm going to say that the 25 fourths is not the fraction that I want to multiply m by. It's this 4 over 25, right? The gallons cross out, the miles cross out, leaving me only with the dollars unit. So that makes me pretty, um, pretty comfortable and confident saying that choice D is the correct answer.